John is giving me this much for free on the podcast, how much more is he going to give me if I pay him? If he's coaching me this well for free, what am I going to get if I pay? Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, successors? Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast, all right? And this podcast is designed for entrepreneurs to where we show you how to speak your success, believe in your greatness, and show you how to create the life and business of your dreams, all right? Today, I want to dive in. I want to give you just a few reasons on why you need to start a podcast now, and not just now, but like right now. Right, right now. Okay, right, right now. Okay, so the first reason that I want to make sure that you know you need to have a podcast, there's no questions about it, no ifs about it, no ands about it. Podcasts are intimacy at scale. Entrepreneur, look, 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 look. Can you afford a $30 microphone? Because if you can afford a $30 microphone, a $50 ring light, and the phone that you already have access to, I can show you how to print money. All right. And all I ask of you is just one hour of your time so I can break down my 4P podcast strategy. And in that strategy, I'm going to show you how you can become the go to authority in your industry. Right. And then I'm going to show you how you can increase your customer base. And then from there, I'm going to show you how you can get your products and or services in front of more customers on a daily, weekly and monthly basis. And here's the trick. All I need from you is just one hour of your time. And I'm going to show you, like I said before, how I did this with a $30 microphone, a $50 ring light and the phone I already have access to. All right. So don't wait. Don't hesitate. Click the link just down below and sign up for the training. And I'm going to see you there. I'm going to say it one more time. I'm going to say it one more time to make sure my people heard me in the back. Yes, you might see people doing podcasts. You might hear about people doing podcasts. Your mama might have a podcast. I don't know. But the reason why you want to have a podcast is because it's intimacy at scale. Let me paint the picture for you. Think about a time that a friend has come to you with a relationship challenge, right? Or a problem that they had. And then as they're coming to you, they're pouring out their heart. And then they're listening to hear what your feedback is going to be. They listen, they listen, and then they listen. And they're giving you a chance to share what your thoughts are, what your opinions are, what your beliefs are. This is why it's intimacy at scale, because a podcast allows you the opportunity to connect with multiple people by sharing one message. I'm going to say it one more time. You're able to connect with multiple people and it feels like it's a one-to-one conversation. People are able to get to know you. People are able to not only get to know you, but hear more about your life, more about your personality. So now they're like, oh, wow, I didn't know this person felt this way. I didn't know they felt that way. And it's really amazing because when you begin to know people, now you're in the spot to where you start to trust them a little bit. And then you hear more about them, and now you can determine if you actually like them or not. This is great in business because you know, like I know, we don't do business with uh, entities or people that we don't like, or we don't believe what their philosophies are, or what their passions are. We're like, nah, I'm not going to spend my money over there because they support XYZ cause, right? You know what I'm talking about, because this really applies with politicians. We don't give them our vote. Hello, we don't give them our vote if we know that they believe in laws and things that we don't necessarily subscribe to. All right, so that's the first point. It's intimacy at scale. The next point is, think about the last time you tried to sell somebody a product. Come here. Think about the last time you tried to sell somebody a product and they told you no. You might have been offended. You're like, why are you not going to buy the product from me? Why are you not going to buy the product from me? And then they began to tell you, I don't know nothing about your product. I don't know who you are, right? Like think, think if you're a vendor at an event and you got a short exchange with people. They're like, I don't know who you are. I don't know what this product has done. I don't know if it actually can work or not. I don't know if it actually can work or not. That's a, that's a good one. And you can't debate that. 
So they're not ready to spend money with you just yet because they don't know what your product's success rate is. They don't know your proof of concept. They don't know even if you have the ability to help provide them a transformation. John, what are you saying? The second reason you want to have a podcast is because it allows a low barrier for entry for your people. John, what you mean? You're not requiring anything of them in terms of financially. You're just asking them for a little bit of time. I just want a little bit of your time. Check out the podcast, right? Give it a listen. You make the decision if it's for you or if it's not. And y'all, this is why this works so well. I was at Costco not even a week ago. I'm at Costco. I'm shopping, doing my grocery thing, you know, getting the groceries for the fam, right? And then the lady says, hey, son. I said, yes, ma'am. She was like, would you like to try a lemon blueberry cookie? And I was like, I don't really have time. I'm trying to just get through. She said, just try it. Just try it. It's free. Just try it. And then she got me to stop. And then she forced me to make a decision in a very nice way. But she had me stop. And I'm like, family, I know you're enjoying this episode so far. I know you've been taking in the content. And I hope you're taking notes, right? I hope you're taking notes. But if you have not just yet hit that follow button on the podcast i need you to hit it i need you to hit it okay because i want you to be tapped in to where you get the latest episodes and even when we drop some surprise bonus episodes you want to be the first to know and you want to be the first to get it okay so wherever you're listening to this podcast at right now apple spotify wherever go ahead hit that follow button so you're tapped in and you get the episodes first all right now back to the episode i'll try it now I'm eating the cookie, and as I'm eating the cookie, what's happening? Now she's telling me more about the cookie. She's telling me how healthy it is. She's telling me the benefits. Because once again, she got me to stop and to have a conversation, have a dialogue, and to at least consider what she was potentially pitching to me, right? We want to have a podcast because you want to stop people just long enough to where they can hear your content, begin to digest your content, and then now they're going to have to make a decision if they should move forward or if they shouldn't. Either way, it's a great opportunity for you and your business because you're actually getting foot traffic of people that you can convert because now you're talking to them and you're giving them information and educated people Educated people make the best decision with the information that they have. Educated people make the best decision with the information that's right in front of them. So now it's your job when you slow them down and create the opportunity for them to make the best decision, you want to give them a little bit more information. And now this is the part to where having a podcast is amazing because Number two, it's a low barrier for entry. You're not charging them any money. They're not having to go through the... You don't think about this often, right? You don't think about this often because we just do it because we want something or we just do it because we need whatever that thing is or we're just caught up in the processes of life. But we don't account for the fact that in order for us to go buy groceries, the first step is... You have to make a decision in your mind. Okay, I'm going to go to the grocery store. The second step is, oh my goodness, I need to go grab my keys. Third, I need to get my wallet and or purse. Fourth, I need to get into my car. Fifth, I need to drive to the store. Sixth, I need to get out my car. Seven, I need to go and get a, a, a basket if I need a basket. Eight, uh, I need to go into the store. Nine, I need to pick out the items that I specifically need on my list. Ten, I need to get into a line. Then after I get into a line, now I need to take out my card. That's like 11. Then I pay and then I get back in my car. After I push the cart back, then I drive home. That's almost 20 steps that we are required to get up from our house, I didn't even say put on clothes, 
to get up from our house, go out, go buy something, and then come back home. We don't take that into account into our business as entrepreneurs. The process to get somebody to buy something, they go through all of those steps. If they're already at home, now they have to get on the laptop, take out my wallet, go find my wallet, go find the right card, type in my email, type in my name, type my credit card information. This is a lot that we are requiring of people. But in order to make this happen, this is number four or number three, in order to get people to do this, we have to show them that the value far outweighs the investment. For my smart people in the back, you got to show people that the value exceeds the investment to where for them it's a no brainer, right? For instance, you've seen this before. Hey, welcome to McDonald's. Would you like to supersize it? You're like, mm, nah, I don't think so. And then they say, are you sure you want to add an apple pie? And then they let you know that it's just on, it's only going to be 68 cents. It's only going to be 99 cents to upgrade it to a combo. And you're like, oh, well, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll upgrade it because that right there, the value is outweighing the investment, right? Let, let's make it plain entrepreneurship terms. So I'm giving more examples today. I'm feeling it. So when we go to buy, when we go and buy a product, a course, a program, you see them tell you what the value is. The value is $27,000. But today, for you, today for you, we're going to make it one payment of $9.97. So you're going to give me $27,000 worth of content information coaching for one payment of $9.97? That's over 26 times the value versus the investment. Of course you're gonna say yes. So the third point is we have to make sure that the value outweighs the investment. And that's why we wanna start a podcast because when a podcast, you have the ability to give people free information, give people free content, and they're listening to it, and they're listening to it, and they're listening to it. This is point four. Then the perceived value, the perceived value of your program, of your service, of your coaching is going to immediately be higher because they're going to say, if John is giving me this much for free on the podcast, how much more is he going to give me if I pay him? If he's coaching me this well for free, what am I going to get if I pay? Wow. I can't even imagine. Let me go ahead and pay right now. Family, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Speak Your Success podcast. I'm Jonathan Jones. And if you did enjoy this episode in your, in your, in your listening to this on your audio platforms, go ahead and hit that follow button on Apple, Spotify, wherever you listen, hit that follow button, right? Uh, and I would love you just, you know, took time to share with us a review. Hey, John, this was great because I liked X, Y, Z. Because if you do that, the thing I love to do I love to take screenshots of the reviews. And I love to shout out reviewers of the week. Okay, so that's going to wrap up this episode. But this is the Speak Your Success podcast where we help you speak your success, believe in your greatness, and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you and why should you live any other way?